Besides a couple times in the past decade, um, I haven't really messed with Pokemon cards at all. I mean, I've bought maybe one pack with a friend uh, for nostalgia's sake, and then back in 2014 when I was at uh, Phoenix Comic Con, I took place in the Pokemon card tournament and used a and borrowed a deck from the people there, and I got maybe third or second place. Uh, I basically won by using an Audino card that would do damage based on how many uh, energy cards you had attached to the card as well as uh, a coin flip. So I basically just sent out all of my cards out as cannon fodder while I attached every energy card to my Audino and sent it out and just started ripping through every single opponent that I had. The only reason that I lost is that I had a massive string of uh, tails flips when it came to um, flipping the coin to, to do damage. And so I ended up losing. Um, I would not have lost otherwise, I don't think, but them's the breaks. I got a few prize cards out of that. So I was hanging out with a couple friends today, and um, we all picked up a few cards uh, as nostalgia. One friend picked up some Pokemon cards and the other one picked up a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards just for the hell of it. Just to see where it's going. I mean it's been over 10 years since I've ever messed with a Pokemon card. I just wanted to see what they're like. And I thought I'd do a quick uh, pack opening on uh, re or recording for you guys. So uh, apparently according to uh, the friend to one of them, uh, this is the latest set of Pokemon cards before they're going to be re uh, replaced by the Sword and Shield one. So let's see what we have here. I'm a little bit excited because I just have not messed with the Pokemon card in so long. My apologies if that is a little bit loud in the mic. <clears throat> so, what is this? Uh, Pokemon.com booster pack online card collection. Whoops, well, to whoever gets this, congratulations. You've got an online booster pack. Um, let's start going here. A Palpitoad, Mini Earthquake, Cricketot. Nice. A palm. Nice. Woo bat. Ducklet. Oh, jeez. What was that? I just caught a glimpse of the uh, type null. Ooh, that's cool. I have these uh, dragon shield protective sleeves that I bought to protect my. Um, Phoenix Comic Con winning, so I think I'll just slip that in here. I don't know if it's worth anything, but why can't I open you? I always liked holographic cards. I thought they were the coolest thing, so. Heliosk. Heli Heliolisk, sorry. A metal energy, sweet. Misty and Loralee. Vibraba. And a great catcher. That's pretty nice. I think energy cards are quite rare these days, right? Or they were at one point. Um, I don't know about now. So there's the next one here. <laughs> Online Pokemon card pack number two. And so you have a Helioptile, which is kind of cool because I got a Heliolisk. Carvana. Tetpig. Togedemaru. Onyx. Ends Resolve. Discard the top six cards of this. Very nice. We'll get that into a little protective sleeve here. 
I know they did uh, the reverse hollows. No, those weren't a thing when I was collecting Pokemon cards. It was always, uh, well, it was towards the very end of me collecting Pokemon cards when they started doing reverse hollows. We got Drompa. And I know they added in the fairy and dragon type. And I think they just, uh, they're about to phase out the dragon types too. Water energy. Tag call. Chaotic swell. And Dalmise. You get kind of a, a nostalgia surge just by looking at these cards. Um, definitely cool. It, uh, I don't know if these are worth anything, but, uh, it's kind of cool to have the reverse hollow. I definitely liked the, uh, the actual picture being holographic instead, though. Titan is kind of a cool card. But, yeah. Little nostalgia surge I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing this ever again. Uh, if I do, it'll be far and few between because I don't really buy Pokemon cards, but uh, maybe I will just for the heck of it. And uh, maybe if I don't end up keeping them, I'll donate them to uh, a less fortunate kid, you know. And uh, yeah.